Hey, good day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady. Welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Hope you're doing well. And it's the end of the year, hey. So I'm trying to pump out the vids as, as best I can. And how lucky for me that there's like a random car show happening here in Kurame City. And, and uh, the turnout is pretty good. That's right, coming at you, my man Dan, the Australian in Japan. Bringing you them classic autos from across the sea. Showing them to you and me. Cars that would never be seen again. Rust it up, tell a friend. Cars that no one gives a damn, except the Wasabi Dan. And then it's seen again. And what do you know? Coming at you live in another Wasabi Cars video. Teaching his school and you to do. Spotting them cars is what he'll do. Keep on watching. And of course, I'm joined here by other YouTubers like Wiki Channel. Oh, Howie! Wiki this! <laughs> oh, Howie! So she's here doing her thing. And let's just check out these cars, people! R32 GTRs, a couple of absolutely nice ones. Please note the lack of R31. R32s, and then it's R30s from here on. And this thing is clean as people. RS Turbo Intercooler, Tekka Men. It's got the iron mask face and then you've got the face that I like. I like this one people. I like this a lot. I like that it's a four door and uh, if it had those phone dialer wheels which I have in my in my room this would be absolutely sweet and I'm sure there was like a little siren thing sitting on the top of that just like minutes ago. Then we've got another Tekamen Two door, which is which is cool as heck. There's this is like zero, zero debate there. Now there's so much more to see, and uh, I'm bringing the goods, people. Shark nose, six ten, summer blue. Look at that. I absolutely love this car. Uh, let's just check out that engine in just a sec. Gas wash is looking so cool. This fair lady is freaking gorgeous little over fenders which is interesting uh, I'm sorry I don't have one of those polarizing filters which is polarizing see what I did there sorry about that but that's cool as heck uh, I'm not all about the mods myself but hey it's not my car I'm but I, but I love cars so there you go this is beautiful jeez uh, I don't know what to do people but I tell you what, because I don't show enough Honda preludes, I gotta show one, hey? But these are so rare in Japan. Oh, I can't zoom in. I don't have optical zoom, but I gotta show this car. I've posted a few of pics with, <laughs> to, to Instagram, so do follow me on Instagram, wasabi cars underscore official, because someone took wasabi cars. Or I created the account and forgot they had to log into it. One of those two things. Funny how life turns out, isn't it? But uh, I'll show you this beautiful S14. Are you ready? Dealer sticker. Ah, I just like, I like the dealer stickers, people. What can I say? But Q's grade and uh, pretty darn neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And like that it's not drifted is cause for celebration. 180SX <laughs> Oh nice S13 S13 uh, Long champs Loving that body kit That's really really nice hey Yeah 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 that's freaking gorgeous And I want to see this from the sunny side I want to see this from the sunny side people I don't know the body kit Do you know the body kit? Let me know But uh, I'm liking that a lot You know what I mean if it, if it were my car, I might not go the body kit. But hey, it's cool. Now these are actually damn rare. I do not show these enough. Simply, one of the big reasons is I, I so rarely see them. And then I also want to see one that's sort of wasabi cars compliant. Which could mean rusty, abandoned, or um, survivor. You know, so there's a... F I've got too many conditions on a car that's already rare. Is it green? What? That's a metallic green. That's the blackest green I've ever seen in my life. What? Like, this is legit revelation, people. Wow. 
I, I'm actually officially spun out people. I like those wheels too. Simple. Five spokers. That's cool. And we'll get to the grade in just a sec. Sorry, I've got to show you the third one. It's got a quick wheels on it. A little bit low and definitely cool. Now I want to show you both these two here. 2.5 twin turbo R. And I love saying that because it makes me sound like a pirate. R. Hey, how's the commentary, people? Hope you're enjoying it. Super, super, super. Croon, bloody. And then, that YouTuber I was talking about before, that's her car there. Oh, yeah, well, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's have a listen, people. I did not know that was there. That's like uh, art. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very, very cool. So there's that. Uh, now this is one of my favorite cars here, people. Tell me I'm wrong. A little, I, I swear, if you look at the um, shock towers in the engine bay and the radiator support, all that sort of stuff, it's the same as the project car, Autozam Carol. I'm pretty sure the bases are exactly the same car. Suzuki, mine's an Autozam, which was built by Suzuki, then sold as a Mitsuoka. It's it's uh, bizarre. But anyway, the the wheels, the the Suzuki-ness, it's freaking amazing. Uh, Mark II, is that a Cresta? We got uh, Long Champs again. Super Lucent Exceed Cresta. Ah, Cresida. What? 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 <laughs> Foreign market badges? No one overseas does that. No one overseas does JDM badges, right? No, of course, I'm kidding. But uh, the organizer, that's one of his cars. recently acquired this one and it's pretty gorgeous hey long nose laurel side markers long champs how many long champs in today's video so far people but I probably should get down low to get some perspective on things little small ass uh, diameter steering wheel I quite like those gear sticks with the flowers in them actually they look very very cool elegant now there's still more to go <laughs> Still more to go, people, and I got to show this Sefiro because this is genuinely rare, absolutely rare. I never see these R32 wheels. Now, there's a whole thing. Is it GTR? And they're like, I don't know the sizes, right? People, sorry, so forgive me. But this thing is darn beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, there's something I got to show you about this beautiful, beautiful car, and it's not. It's a sad thing, people. Rear quarter. I do like the styling. I'm not gonna lie. I like the styling a lot. The rear quarters had a bit of a bingle, I suspect. The, the like it, it gets a bit wavy up in there, which is a bit of a shame. But that is a beautiful, beautiful car. Laurel, which I just don't show enough of. Shout out to DSM Laurel, who's a big fan of Wasabi cars, and I constantly neglect. Oh, we got some laurels in a row, people. RB20 E straight six. Can't imagine that's a factory sticker, but it's sort of sort of cool. Medalist. Full range eight. Who doesn't love a bit of full range eight when you're feeling peckish, people? So that's cool. And uh, this one, the owner is an absolute legend. Oh. <laughs> is he gonna play? There we go. Arigato. <laughs> and he's, hey, full, full range. 
But that's a cool car, hey. SSR Mark 1s, uh, pillarless. Uh, a popular car in the UK and NZ, I believe, but Australia, we got no clue about such things. So, uh, oh, we just got a new arrival, just a sec, people. This old crown, absolutely stunning. Dude, uh, the owner. Uh, we, we, we do chat from time to time. He's also on a, 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 a social media site called Cartoon. Super friendly dude, very supportive of Wasabi cars, and there's Wiki Chanetta doing her thing once again, but this is so clean and so amazing. Absolutely love this car. Beautiful. And late comers include this S130. Again, another friendly owner. I took photos of this. I think it was in uh, undercoat or some sections of the body were getting prepped for, for body work, but that is a high impact S130. Very, very cool. Work equipped wheels. I quite like them. Uh, headlight covers, two-tone, red interior, uh, Pantera hatch, or there's, there's, there's names for that which uh, is escaping me at the second, but very, very cool. Sorry, I just don't know enough about Volkswagen, but on, on Hayashi streets, gee, that looks pretty good. That left-hand drive, wow. Yeah. Wow, I, I, I quite like that. That's a surprise myself, but we've got a beautiful sunny truck here. One finally did turn up. That's cool. A Ken Midi, which is looking pretty cool. 310 Datsun, which I'm sure we saw at uh, Kiyama parking area. Beautiful. And of course, uh, Samba's 510. Samba Ni Ichi Yong. He's got a YouTube channel as well. I'm sure he'll have his camera out. Oh, he doesn't have his camera out. Oh, he does have his camera out. There you go. Let's just say good day. Hey. 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 <laughs> this guy. That guy there. That's him. So, uh, yeah, there you go, people. It's all happening. Junk in the trunk. Whoa. Now, there's a bit of uh, attention on this Fair Lady 2 Plus 2, which is fairly neat. Yeah. yeah, so that's cool. This is cool. This is very, very cool, people. This is, uh, I think, one of the standout cars for me. Though, of course, I the the, long, the, the shark nose bluebird was was absolutely winning. But this is a car I've seen glimpses of over the last few years. A 230 series. I forget if it's a Gloria or a Cedric, I'm really bad at that. But if you look at the grill, it's definitely a Toyota Crown. Which is a, a bit of a joke there. Boom tish. Dude, how, how shag pile is that carpet? That is amazing. Over fenders, Hayashi Racing. Very, very nice flamage. Uh, obviously we've had second thoughts about some over fenders. But uh, battle scars, people. Oh wow! Uh, what do you call that? Is it alligator snakeskin accents on the interior? Otherwise, a black interior. And uh, and there it is, people. We've got the crown grill. But anyway, moving on because the car next to it really has my attention. And shout out to that YouTuber over there. He's getting ready. Oh. Ano camera de video torimasu So so. I see, I see. I see, I see. I had to ask because uh, his his videos have a style to them and I wonder if whether how we did that. Um Luce. Luce, not loose. Though it could be loose. Uh, stacked headlights, beautiful color. Very it's so meaty, such a meaty, meatily styled car. Very, very interesting. And I'm gonna say that the C pillar is something that I'm sort of seeing in more modern cars. You see a lot of small cars with that design element, so that's pretty interesting. But uh, that's an Italian word, people. Luce. Luce. Don't let me catch you slipping again. Not that I care. Like, whatever. Call it whatever you want. I don't care. I say Salika. People say Silica. It doesn't bother me at all. Damn. That is some shininess. Yeah, 
all the best for next year. I, I tell you what, my big hope is I'd love to go back to Australia to see my parents who have since moved interstate. Like I have no familiarity with their life, you know, because it's been a few years stuck in Japan with COVID and whatnot. So that, that's been a, a thing that I've had to struggle with people. But you know, I'm a big boy and I've got to deal with it. But uh, let me know your thoughts, everyone. You know, uh, I, I, I do read them. I get to as many as I absolutely can. I miss some, which, which guts me, as in I am gutted. Because, uh, you know, you, that you take the time and care about the videos that I do does mean a lot to me. So everyone, all the best for the rest of the year, whatever's left of it. And for 2021, hope you're surrounded by loved ones and doing good things and putting out good energy into the world. Because we're all good people. Something I strongly believe in. Everyone love you all. Take it easy. Love you all again. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Goodbye.